Namaste. Welcome to yoga. Just a reminder to listen to your body, modify as needed, stay with whatever level you feel comfortable with. Today, I am gonna use a block and a strap, which you can use a book, a pot, a towel, a t-shirt, whatever you have handy. Rest when needed. Today, the sequence is gonna be done in a chair. And you can do it with a chair with a high back or a stool, whatever you have around. So let's get comfortable. So here, we're gonna start in a seated mountain. And that is where your weight is equally on both sit bones, your ears over your shoulders, shoulders over hips, and your abs are engaged. Now let's just roll those shoulders back, nice and slow for just a few moments. Just opening up your chest, breathing deep into the belly. A reminder that yoga breath, let's go, let's roll those shoulders forward, is breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And just shoulders up and shoulders down. But if breathing exclusively through the nose is challenging for you, then breathe the way that's most comfortable. Here, we're gonna draw your ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, abs pulled in. And we're just gonna do a few cat cows to get that spine moving in a flexion and an extension position. So we're gonna place your hands on your knees. We're gonna pull the belly in and we're gonna roll the spine as if you were like a cat. Abs pulled in, tuck your chin under. And then we're gonna slowly press your belly forward, roll your shoulders back. And rather than being in a neutral position, that seated mountain, we're gonna press your belly forward and roll your shoulders back. So now you're extending that spine, like a cow. I don't know why they call that. We're gonna come back in a cat, so pull your belly in. So you're gonna rock the pelvis, abs engaged, chin into your chest. Really take that spine like a cat. And then we're gonna come into cow. So just easy movement. You are rocking through that pelvis and then making your way back into mountain. So neutral pelvis, neutral spine, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. We're gonna take a large sort of circle sweep up, hands to heart center, inhale, come in. We're gonna twist to the right. So take your left hand and place it on top for the outside of your right thigh and the right arm behind you, holding the back of your chair or take your hand behind your back. But just letting that right shoulder fall down, lifting through your heart center, lifting through your crown, abs engaged. On your next breath in, we're gonna come back to center, inhale, circle sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, coming up. And now easy twist to the left. So again, your right hand's gonna cross over onto the left knee, left thigh. Left hand behind you, grabbing the back of the chair or your back. Trying to sit nice and tall, abs engaged. Letting that left shoulder drop down. Inhale, circle sweep back up. Breath out, hands to heart center. Inhale, coming up, we're gonna twist again to the right. One last time. Let that shoulder drop down. Lead with your chin, open your eyes. Once more on your breath, and we're gonna come back to center, large circle, sweep, hands to heart center. Last time to the left. Easy twist to the left. We're gonna pause here. So if you like, a few breath cycles in, go a little bit deeper. Keep those abs engaged. Lifting through your heart center, lifting through your crown. Leading with your chin, eyes are opened. Inhale, circle, sweep back up. Hands to heart center, and really relax those hands. So from here, we're gonna extend the right leg, pressing the foot, feeling that hamstring, feeling the nice long straight leg. We're gonna hold just for five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna come back down. Now extend your left leg. So having the left foot flat, feel your quads engaged. Imagine that you're really pressing your foot. So you're not just holding it here, but you're pressing it forward, really extending those legs. Five here, four, three, two, and one, and we're gonna slowly release. Now we're gonna draw both legs up together. So here, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and your legs are nice and long. You're pressing through the bottom of the feet. This is called staff pose. And traditionally, it is done from a, seat, uh, from a seated position or a laying down position with your feet in the air. We're gonna hold just for five, four, three, 
two, and one. We're gonna slowly release. We're gonna do that once more. So just finding your seated mountain, abs engaged, and then we're gonna slowly bringing both legs up. If you wanna modify, you're just gonna do one leg. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two. If you have both legs, you're gonna stay here for one. One leg, you're gonna release that leg, and then switch legs. Again, you're pressing through the bottom of the feet, really engaging your quads, you should feel them fire. We have five here, remembering to breathe for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna slowly release. We're gonna shift forward slightly on your chair. We're gonna come into a seated pigeon pose where we're gonna stretch out that hip. So we're gonna bring your right leg and cross it over your left. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can cross it over here. And just letting that right knee fall forward. Now, tendencies, we start to kind of lift off that left butt cheek. So I want you to try to recenter yourself. Not worrying about getting in this figure four position or pigeoned, but feeling the stretch of that right hip. Foot is flat, sitting nice and tall. You can stay here or hinging through your hips, come forward. Now, the hinge comes through your hips, not through your chest. Just easing that stretch. Again, modify as needed. You'll feel, you can stay here and hold. Whatever feels comfortable for you. We have five, four, three, two, and we're actually gonna stay here one. So just settle in for a moment. If you want, on your next breath up, we're gonna go a little bit deeper in that seated pigeon pose. Another five, four, Three, two, and one. We're gonna slowly release. Again, you're still kind of shifted forward in your chair. We're gonna switch. Take your left foot and cross over the right. Respecting the differences from left to right. One side is often a little bit more restricted than the other. So being really present, taking a moment to feel, sitting nice and tall, the foot stays flexed to protect that patella ligament. Breathing deep in and deep out and just settling into that stretch for you. So feeling the stretch, challenging it, yes, not forcing it. So just five here, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. If you thought that five count was over, it's not. Again, you can hinge through your hips rather than your chin. Just ease and feel that stretch of that left hip. We have five to go. And then from here, we're gonna return back to that seated position. So here, we're gonna scoot our waist back into the chair, belly pulled in, we're gonna hinge your hips, resting on that chest under that, those legs and bring your hands down, letting your head hang freely. Now this here, if you can't rest your hands on the floor, you can rest them on your shins or your block or your book. And my block has three heights. So you can choose if you need it or grab your book or even a pot or a bowl, resting your hands. So they're not hovering. So wherever they are, letting your head just hang. Dropping your shoulders down, pull your belly in. Now, wherever you are in your breath cycle, you're gonna let the breath out. And together we're taking a big breath in Expanding your lungs, and then this breath out, we're gonna sink a little bit deeper down. For your seated forward fold, we're gonna shake your head yes and no, so don't let your head help. You don't need to see what's going on, listen to my voice. And then we're gonna slowly come up, walk your hands up your legs, belly pulled in, sitting nice and tall. So now we're gonna take this into extended angle. So again, using your block, your strap, using your block, a pot, whatever you got, we're slowly gonna come down. We're gonna take your left hand and place it onto the floor, onto your block or your pot. So placing it down, and now we're gonna take your right hand and twist and reach up towards the ceiling. We tend to kind of sink, to sink down to the left shoulder. I want you to reach up through your right hand. So feel that stretch, that chest, across your chest and that shoulder. So you're not just holding, but you're reaching. Again, keeping that left hand on the floor on a block, on a pot, or a book, but it's not hovering. You want it to be somewhat rooted. Reach up that right hand a little higher, 
belly pulled in, and then we're gonna slowly bring the right hand down. We're gonna switch sides. So place your right hand on your block, your strap, or your block, a book, whatever you've got, and now take your left hand. Eyes are gonna follow the left hand, because I want you taking a look where your left hand is going. Now, if you can't reach it to the ceiling, that's okay. Reach towards the left side of the wall, room. Pull those abs in. Let that left shoulder drop a little bit more to really challenge that stretch across that chest. Holding extended angle for five more. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna slowly bring your left hand back down. We're gonna smooth to the other side again. Extended angle, so place your left hand on your block. Whatever that block is, take your right hand. Eyes follow your right hand as we slowly come up. Once again, just don't dump the weight into your left shoulder, left arm. Reach up to your right. So your right hand is constantly reaching, lifting, growing. Eyes are gonna follow your right hand. And reach, 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 reach. Try to have that right hand a little further back than where you were the first time. Scoop those abs in. Breathing in and breathing out. And then we're gonna slowly bring that hand back down. Back onto the block. Left hand, take a look at your left hand. We're gonna take extended angle to the other side. Again, not dumping the weight into your right hand, but lift, lift, lift. Reach a little higher. Challenge yourself. Pull those abs in. A little bit further, maybe further back. Breathing in and breathing out. Really focusing on the breath. That reach. We're going to slowly come back. We're gonna take your block and move it alongside and then bring coming up to neutral position. So here, we're gonna bring your arms out to the sides, palms facing up, reaching to your right, your left, shoulders are down, belly pulled in. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna turn so your palms are facing down. Ideally, I have my fingers together so my hand is flat. It's really gonna be your choice Arms are long, trying to be parallel to the ground. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna slowly turn your palms back, facing up. So the rotation comes through your shoulders. Your whole arm is moved there. Drop your shoulders down, sitting nice and tall. Abs pulled in for five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly, we're gonna bring your fingertips up to the ceiling. Palms are gonna face one another reaching high, but drop those shoulders down. So there's a nice space between your ears and your shoulders. So we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly, we're gonna bring your hands forward. Palms are gonna face down. Try to bring your arms parallel to the floor. Roll your shoulders back and down. Abs engaged, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two and one we're going to slowly turn so your palms are facing one another then bring your fingertips back up to the ceiling as you reach high here's a reminder drop your shoulder blades down five to go four three two and one one last time let's bring those hands forward palms are facing down roll those shoulders back and down we're going to hold for five four three two and one and slowly bring your hands down here from a seated mountain position, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, just a quick posture check, a quick breath check, abs pulled in, hands to heart center, and namaste. Thank you for following along with Everyday Life Yoga with Kim. Just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell sign for notifications, so you will be made aware every time a video gets uploaded. Have a fabulous day.